So I really believe that this is going to be a quick word that I just really want to release over you guys. Um, because it, it was a moment that I had with God. Just it's something. So I had a knowing. I had a, a knowing. Okay, so let me back up a little bit. So first of all, if you've been listening to me for any amount of time, like we don't we don't have any preliminaries here. Like there's no I just jump straight to it every single video. So that's what I'm doing. Like every single video, we just get straight to the word. And so yesterday I was spending some time with the Lord and doing my worship time. I kept getting this unction to stop and straighten up like stuff and clean up. And I was just like, okay, I don't, I don't know what this is about. And I literally heard the Holy Ghost say to me, it's the anointing to clean up. It's the anointing to clean up. And I was like, okay, well, I don't know, but okay. And so this morning, so that was yesterday. So then this morning I was, I was, you know, making me some coffee and I spilled some of the coffee and then I started cleaning up and I started like, like really like I went in my, my kitchen pantry and I started like taking some boxes from some appliances that I had bought. Cause I don't know about y'all, but I, I don't know why I keep the box. Like if I get a toaster or I just got a ninja blender thing and I still have to buy like I don't know so anyway I had like I started like throwing away stuff right so cleaning up so I got on Facebook okay wait and so before even then it's it the word clean up particularly just kept resonating in my spirit and I thought about this old gospel song by this group called the Canton Singers called the cleanup song and I started thinking about that song and I went on YouTube and I started playing the song and the anointing became very strong for clean up. Like not necessarily the that song in particular, but the anointing became very strong. And so then I went on Facebook and I was scrolling a little bit and um, the woman of God released a prophetic word for today. And the prophetic word was just about, it had a, a, it was just really talking about a bunch of stuff, right? But here's the thing. The scripture that she referenced was Ruth 3 and 3. And in that scripture, and she talked about the fact that this is the, this is the passage where Naomi is preparing Ruth to go see Boaz. And Naomi is essentially telling Ruth to clean up. Like that's what she's telling Ruth. And so the scripture reads that she tells, you know, um, she tells Ruth, wash up, put some perfume on, you know, get ready to go to the threshing floor and see Boaz. Now here, it blessed me because she said, the woman of God said the word clean up, right? And then the actual scripture says the word perfume. So for the last few weeks, the Holy Ghost has been putting it in my spirit to buy perfume i'm not a perfume person um growing up i used to have really bad allergies so it wasn't until i really uh became much older that i even would have perfume here or there and so like i would i would get a bottle of perfume here or there and then once it ran out i i just really didn't get any more and so this past weekend me and my mom and the girls went shopping and we went in a department store and I got a couple of bottles of some perfume and so this scripture so all of this right all of this was just like such it was such a strong knowing in my spirit that okay something something is happening something is manifesting like I know it like not it was it was beyond confirmation to the point that I was weepy it was beyond confirmation to the point that I was weepy and here's another thing right before I made this video that God put in my heart. And I, I've never really heard God say this to me before. So I kept feeling this, this strong, uh, I kept feeling this strong word from God to get some agreement, to get some agreement. Like you need some agreement that this thing is about to manifest. And so I initially went to call one of my friends, but I was hearing God say, you need some heart agreement like heart agreement. And I was thinking, okay, I don't, I don't necessarily, cause you know, I've never heard the Holy Ghost say heart agreement. So I didn't really know what God meant when he was saying heart agreement. So I called my friend and she didn't answer. And I almost felt like God didn't want it to be her. 
I really felt like God wanted it to be my oldest daughter who she's 15. And so I was just like, okay. And I was getting so emotional. I was getting so emotional. So eventually I, I, I called her. I called her, you know, they're doing virtual school. And I said, you know, something specific is about to manifest and I just need some agreement. So let's just hold hands. And I just need you to say, you know, what I'm gonna tell you to say. And so we did, right? And I was extremely emotional as we were praying. Um, because I, I heard a woman of God, another woman of God say that Jeremiah was a weeping prophet. And I'm like, well, that must be me because if you've been listening to me any amount of time, then you've at some point heard me crying, right? And so I was very emotional. And, and even, and when she left, even God showed me the confirmation in that because listen, Naomi and Ruth had heart agreement. They had heart agreement. It was Naomi. First of all, Ruth follows Naomi, right? Um, and then it was Naomi that told Ruth, right, to tell Boaz to marry her, right? So there's agreement. And when Ruth comes back and tells Naomi that Boaz is going to check with an elder and if he can't do it again, Naomi has heart agreement because Naomi is like he's gonna do the right thing and so that was a, that was a whole new revelation that I had never heard from God right like like there are people that may have um I didn't know help me Jesus I, I had never heard the Holy Ghost say heart agreement I had never heard the Holy Ghost say heart agreement before right and when I think about me and what God has called me to for this ministry, right? Outside of the protocol, outside of the 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 the, the smoothness of how I make videos, outside of the the graphics and all this stuff, right? My heart is with each and every one of you, right? God has called me to people that have, and I've said this before, that have been wandering for a long time. People that feel like my entire life has just been one impossibility after the other this thing i'm believing for is impossible so you know i cry i yell i scream i do all of this but i need to let you know that my heart is in agreement with your petition to heaven and that's why i am thankful when you partner with me through encouragement, through your seed, through through a like, through anything that God puts on your heart. Because my heart is in agreement. Like, God has really called me to pull people about the trenches. Because that's where I was. I lived a very defeated life. I lived a life where I really didn't know how to be blessed. I didn't really know how to receive the goodness of God. And it has taken a lot of fire to get those impurities, that pollution, that contamination up out of my heart. You know, it's taken a lot of fire for that to come up out, you know, um, because seeds, seeds were planted through people, through me, through the enemy. And so I had a harvest. I had a harvest of defeat. I had a harvest of loss. I had a harvest of losing, right? And so I tried to, to on top of that, receive goodness but it, it, the goodness there was no room there was no room for the for the goodness seeds of goodness to be planted because it was just this harvest this harvest of pollution and so the holy ghost had to really come in and, and uproot that right uproot and it it was painful it was painful so when i speak the way that i speak it's because i am yielded and i am rooting i am rooting for each and every one of you every single time <sighs> even when people comment like I really try and talk to each and, and if, again if you've been following me you know like I will say a word of encouragement to each and every comment so okay God is faithful this thing is personal with God God loves you and I am in agreement with each and every one of you that the will of God be accomplished in your life. So thank you for your agreement with me. Thank you for your partnership with me. Thank you for covering me, praying for me, encouraging me. And I'm telling you, we are right now 
on the cusp of something major. I don't care what the world is saying. I don't care what anybody else is saying. I'm telling you, I just made a video and God literally, literally is telling me good news is coming. So that's all I wanted to say. I'm for real, for real about to do some ugly crying and I will talk to you all later. God bless you.